Hi everyone, welcome to another painting guide. Um, we've got one of the Flags of War um, government infantry from their recent Kickstarter for the War of Austrian Succession. Um, he's also usable um, for the Jacobite Rebellion of 1745. And we're going to paint him in the colours of Chumley's uh, 34th, who had yellow facings, um, and they fought um, at Fontenoy, um, War of Austrian Succession, um, Culloden in the Jacobite Rebellion, so usable for both. Um, I'm using Citadel Contrast paints. In the last video I used Army Painter Acrylics for the Dutch Infantry. Um, and you could do the same process, just moving the colours around that you've used and bringing in some yellow to do the model that way. But I thought it'd make a boring video to do the same process, so we're using a, a different type of paint to achieve the finish on this one. Um, I have some Apothecary White, and with that we're doing the Gators. There's also quite a lot of lace work on the model, uh, around the edge of the waistcoat, around the edge of the cuffs, on the lapels. We'll add more colour there later. Around the hat. And the collar is piped in white as well. The main colour of the coat, jacket and um, breeches is red, so I'm using Blood Angels red. A smaller brush just so we can start getting into these deeper areas on the model. Taking care to avoid the belts and the lapels where possible. In the areas we do get a bit of red overspill. I've cleaned the brush, got it wet. And we'll absorb that back off. If we need to paint it over in white again, we will do. Right, I'll fill in the rest of the red details. It's all the red painted in. Um, leaving the white piping um, on the waistcoat around the collar of the jacket, lapels, cuffs. Um, a bit of red inside the lacing there, that needed some tidy up with some white after. I've chosen Gulliman Flesh um, to do his skin. Nothing much to explain there. Back with the next step. So, for the yellow facings of this regiment, I have some ironed in yellow. And we've got the turnbacks to do. Uh, the cuffs. And inside the white lace of the lapels. If we get a bit of yellow onto the lacing, we'll just go back over with some white to tidy that up. Some black areas to do on the model. Our hat, which includes this bow decoration. Back of the model, I'm going to do the canteen in black for now. I'll paint in that metallic later. scabbards to do. Around the gator there is a black strap. Boots and cartridge box. We'll paint some straps now. now I'm using skeleton horde sort of give a, a buff leather effect. On the back of the model, get 
get the straps where they hang the sword. Um, there's a bag underneath here. As well as the straps around the canteen. And we'll paint the fur pack a different colour. Oh, and musket strap. Can't forget that. I like a sort of reddish finish for the wood. Um, so I have some Gore Grunter fur. I'll use that on the musket. Just doing the, where the metal will be as well. The silver will look better over a darker colour than it will white. Um, the same goes for the hilt of the sword um, with some brass over that when we come to use the real metallics. The last contrast paint I'm going to use is snakebite leather for the fur pack. This is where contrast paints come into their own really where we've got lots of texture for that to soak into. Time to pick out the metallics. I've got some Vallejo brass. Use this on the sword hilt. Um, and any buckles on the model. Plate mail metal. Um, from Ari Painter is going to be applied to buttons and metal areas on the musket as well. I'll hit the metallics with a wash of Ari Painter Strong Tone. I'll get some coat d'arms white to tidy up any areas on um, the white lace and, and gaiters are a bit smudged and that'll be jobs a good one. And here's the finished article. So we've used contrast paints in the main um, with some uh, metallics um, and a little bit of uh, strong tone wash over those metallics but you can turn these models out quite quickly. Um, the uniforms are intricate with lace which is a bit um, infuriating in some places but as long as you're willing to take an acrylic white um, and just go over any areas you've made a mistake on you can tidy them up pretty quickly um, you could go back and add highlights um, with acrylics if you wanted to really bring the quality of the model up um, but for tabletop standard I think that's a, a pretty good result Hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I know that the Kickstarter uh, for these models has finished now, um, but they will um, be released later in the year on the Flags of War website. So please show uh, Ian some support and throw some money his way because he does some lovely figures. Bye for now.